Johnny Johnny, yes papa, killing people, no papa, show me your hands, ha ha ha. When the Dowdy King, I mean the Bowdy King, lit up the woods in the barrel, the dog of John Wick was stepping back out of fear. And it makes sense because animals don't like to mess with fire at all. When Johnny was changing his mag, you can still find a bullet and possibly more in the chamber of his previous magazine. Although he knew that there's only one guy to deal with right now, he was still remaining cautious. Now that's called a professional assassin. Oh god, this dude literally died like an NPC. I expected another collaboration of him and John Wick against the high table like it happened in the end of chapter 3. By the way, when the Frenchman shot this guy, I literally felt like his eyes are gonna pop out. I wonder how expensive the suit of the Frenchman might be. Maybe equal to the income of an average Navy SEAL operative? Like 50 to 60 thousand US dollars? Why was Kane reading the braille backwards? Well, you got it wrong. Kane was reading the braille from left to right as usual, but your eyes are telling you right to left instead. You know why? Look closely. This is the right hand of Kane, which is your left side. This is the left side of the braille sheet, which is your right side. So, right hand and reading from the left side means Kane was reading the braille just the usual way. But you got tricked by the optical illusion. Did the Asian man just bow to the dog or Mr. Nobody? I'm really confused. Welcome to the Osaka Continental. The hairstyle of this girl looks weird and yet satisfying to watch. I don't know why. Mr. Suzuki at 11 and the Tars officer requesting an audience at 2. Almost in every place inside the hotel, you can see the sakura trees which we call cherry blossoms. These trees in Japan are also the symbol of mortality. These trees symbolize the fact that irrespective of how powerful you are, death will be the ultimate consequence in your life. Just like John Wick or even the Marquis. I don't understand why she had a metallic bar in between her rib cage. She doesn't feel uncomfortable wearing that thing all day long. Did you notice that the lights turned green inside the hotel before the beginning of the fight? In chapter 3, the lights inside the New York Continental was also green during the fight. Was that intentional? <laughs> If you look closely, you can find out that one of the bows just hits the back of the coat of that guy and then bounces down to the ground because the suit is bulletproof. I really liked that detail. I can see two problems in the scene. She has already been shot through her nasal cavity and yet she is fighting like the fat Asian guy in chapter 2. And then look at the direction of the gun barrel and the direction of the blood spill. They do not match at all. This Asian dude literally died like an NPC. He definitely deserved at least one kill in the entire movie. This is unfair. These guys were literally fighting with bows and arrows against the people with automatic rifles. If you guys wanna stick to your tradition so much, you could have just upgraded your weapon to make them equivalent to the power of those automatic rifles. Look at the sumo guy to the left. He has a bullet hole on his belly and some blood spill on the forehead. Now, right in the next frame, that guy had a bullet hole in between his eyes and he was still fighting like the sumo guy from chapter 2. Inside the Continental Hotel, I have never seen Kane to kill even a single guy. He just knocked them out or just injured them in one way or another. And it makes sense because this is the hotel of his best friend, Koji, and he doesn't want to cause any casualty over there. Did you guys ever wonder why Kane decided to reposition the sensor lower than before? The Japanese people are not as tall as the Americans. I guess that's why he kept the sensor down to track every Asian man inside the hotel. No shit. I thought the dress was bulletproof. That's a shame.
I can bet it that every man on earth literally felt that pain. Even after taking a headshot, he was able to move his leg for his body to fall on the ground. I guess his soul was not willing to leave the body after realizing that he could have saved himself if he would not keep both of his hands numb when John was flogging his head with the nunchucks. Maybe Johnny also realized that the guy might be alive even after getting a headshot and decided to double tap him. Look at the consciousness of this blind man. Somewhere back in his head, it was dictating that he probably should recheck the receiving chamber of his gun in case a bullet shell might be stuck inside. I gotta say, if we don't get to see his action during his prime time with his both headlights working, it would be a straight up betrayal. John Look at this, my god. The bounty of killing this guy is $15,000 only. What the f did he just steal the extra shampoos from the bathroom of the London Continental Hotel? Although the wife of Kane is dead, you can still see their wedding ring. He didn't take that off. True love. These are Latin words and here's the summary. To be honest, the summary matches a lot with the climax of John Wick. The way this woman was lifting the basket definitely shows that the basket was heavy from the very beginning, probably with more guns and weapons of the other visitors inside the church. Maybe this rule is applicable for everyone over there, not just John Wick. <laughs> I thought the old man would be saying, be honorable. If you look at the ceiling fan over here, they look very normal. And then, there goes the ceiling fan over the head of Killa Harkon. The shape and design of this fan is very akin to a sharp weapon. Was that intentional by the film production manager? I've always seen hanging chandeliers in my life, but this one looks very unique and amazing. Look at this picture at first. These are called sights, which are inextricably necessary to get a precise gunshot. The gun of Kane, by the way, never had any sights, just like the picture I showed. And it really makes sense cause he's blind. If you look at the back, Kane was nowhere near that chair. But right in the next frame, Kane was standing beside the same chair. Was that a magic? What the f*** is wrong with that man? Why is it dancing that way? Is that even a man or a lady boy? The f***? You're not a lady? Yes. What are you? I'm lady boy. I wonder what kind of crack these people are smoking out there. This guy is striking everyone with an axe and nobody bothers to care about that. What the hell? There goes a Sam Smith from Walmart. If I were John Wick, I would have taken all the teeth, rings and all the gold that Killa was possessing, including even his wallet. Money, money, money is sweeter than honey. Under the old laws. The pigeons in the background flew away exactly when Johnny sat on the chair. This was a very good choreography, but was that intentional or just a coincidence? Why did they carve a crisscross on every bullet before the shootout? Well, when you shoot someone with bullets like this, they will get pierced into multiple pieces and then get stuck inside the body. This is going to cause more damage to your body than other bullets and the doctor will have to find out the broken pieces of the bullet to avoid infection. Deadly, isn't it? Does it remind you of something? By the look of this door, anyone can guess that this door is not supposed to be automatically pushed back. It must be open. But right in the next frame, this door was closed and they had to reopen it. Is that a mistake or am I missing something? The first time when John was using that shotgun, he was probably thinking like, what the f*** is that? Anyways. Anyways. 
Do you guys want to see something? This dude was too unlucky to stay alive. He literally got tossed by John Wick twice in a row. I have always seen that these guys always used to come in two or three. Was that because it would be easy this way for the audience to differentiate John Wick from the rest of the contract killers? This dog is so adorable and beautiful. I wanna give him a big hug and a wet kiss unless it bites me. How can the bullet of a shotgun make such a small hole in the nasal cavity? 20% of his head must be blown up. Do you guys have any explanation for this? Here goes Captain Marvel on budget. Will he take me home? Of course. Don't you guys think that Winston should have been rushing to the hospital to have a last try as soon as the duel was over? Maybe the life of John Wick could have been saved? I didn't understand the ending at all. It didn't make any sense to me because I believe that it's always worth a try, even at the last moment. Trust me guys, in the whole movie, I tried my best to see if I can discover five fingers in the left hand of John Wick. But I couldn't. These guys have really done a great job making sure that the left hand of John Wick always had four fingers. Did you also notice that every chapter of John Wick series had at least one dog belonging to any character? character. Daisy from chapter 1 belonging to John, Booba from chapter 2 belonging to John again, Lerna and Autress from chapter 3 belonging to Sophia, and then Daisy from chapter 4 belonging to Mr. Nobody. It's not gonna be a surprise if John Wick 5 also does the same thing with the storyline.